This is Jam Trader. This is the last call of the day. So we're going to review crude oil here and natural gas. Now remember, on crude oil, the API report will be out today at 1030. And that EIA for crude will be out on Wednesday at 1030. And EIA on natural gas on Thursday at 1030. And then we have a rig count there on Friday. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy, sell, or stock on the ETF. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil, your daily and your weekly chart. Now, this is really a good uh, short opportunity here. Uh, what we had here today is we had a high of uh, 22.48. Yesterday, we made that high of uh, uh, 77.60. Uh, I mean, today's high, yeah, was 77.48. Today was 70.60. Uh, uh, so we had that lower high, and then we had this nice big red candle. However, when you look at this, oh, big ass red candle. However, today so far is still just an inside day candle versus yesterday, which means you're high and you're lower inside of yesterday's candle. Okay. However, look what you'd have here. Okay. So now we're just below this uh, key level, this 75.67. Uh, you're sitting at 75.63 real time right now. So we got to see what's going to be here when those futures open at six o'clock. And remember, watch that API report because it could be a market mover. Okay. So that's what we're looking at here. So let's just take the downside here first so obviously we want to do is we want to look to today's low that's 7540 then we're going to look to uh, yesterday's low that's going to be that 7504 uh, and then we have your key level here which is your eight day at 7438 and i don't like this see how this thing was kind of flattening out now it's going all the way on down so again tomorrow watch it and watch those futures if we get a lower low here this could sink right back down here again okay so a couple of things i want to show you here see this double top situation then we had a, a lower high, a lower high, a lower high, and a lower tie here. See, this wedges put a line right across there coming all the way on down. Plus, see this double top situation into the hondo? Look at this double top situation into the 200-day. See? Very, very similar. So you always want to look to the left of the chart to see what you have. Today was a really good shorting opportunity that I took there in the SEO. And actually, right now, I am still on uh, my second scalp on the SEO. I am still sh I am short, Okay. Um, so we got to see how this is all going to say, uh, 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 shake out here. So here, when I do on the upside is you want to watch this 21 day. We need to get back above that. If this is going to be a long play, 75, uh, 67. Now, again, if we can, then what we'll do is we just come right up to the top of this candle. You're looking at that 76.52 is going to be next. We look to the bottom here. You're looking at, um, a 76.83. And then we have that nice, uh, uh, 7698 level and then what we can do is we can look at today's high that that uh, 7748 and then realistically what you're looking for is that 7781 that 200 day above that we come right up to here to that uh, 7865 above that you got 7940 and then right above that you've got your retest of 8016 which is basically just the top of that candle but right now this is looking uh, very very bearish because of the double top situation like we had there so tomorrow is going to be a big determination day realistically to see what's going to happen are we going to get another lower low in the red candle if you do say good night Irene because you're coming right down here to this uh, eight day simple moving average and we could retest that uh, a 7146 now yesterday I told you that there's a war premium going on here okay so that's we had a nice three-day rally but which was great i got nice four points out of the uco on that three-day rally had five thousand shares so this was a really good profitable trade and now i guess i'm short here again but i'm going to wait to see here what is going to be the high and the low here that's what we're going to be trading against okay so watch that 7748 and watch that 7540 that's going to be very very critical when those futures open if we start putting in that lower low then we're going to have the same scenarios we're going to have here and she's going to lose that eight estimate we're going to come all the way on down okay so be very very cautious here now uh 48 uh, I'll, uh, 48 level here on your RSI here. There is, uh, this could go either way here on that. So not really telling you much. Uh, your MACD here was looking really good because you're green over your red. But again, that doesn't mean that that can't circle right back and down here like we have, uh, on that scenario there. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out. So basically just watch that high and that low. That's going to be very, very key. And this 21 day on a closing basis. We have to get back above that. Then we have a shot there. We can go right back up to that 200 day. And maybe we can trade this range between the 200 day and the uh, 21 day. We got to see. But if that, we start making these lower lows here, like we have on this setup here, she's going to come flying down real, real quick here. Okay. So just watch that. Just like what we had here. See this? 
all the way on down here. See this on all the way on down here, and then see on that. See, that's what this thing is, uh, crude oil is doing. It's just rolling up here very, very hard and then selling off here. But again, when you look at this pattern, see that series of lower highs here, that's really never good, okay? You wanna have that blast up. Now, when you look at this pattern here, see we still have that W going, so we gotta see this could reverse here and then go up and hit there, uh, the 21 to 50 and maybe back up here, but let's just see how that all shakes there on the Okrutsky, okay? So now here we have the weekly chart. Now, so far, but it's very early here, this is only uh, Tuesday, we had a nice good uh, uh, run up here, but again, you went right into that eight day and now you're pulling back, okay? So that's gonna become resistance, that 76.81. And then we're gonna go into a pile of resistance here at that 78.25 level, uh, what you're gonna have here. And then we have your, your basically your 200 day and your uh, 50 day and your 21 day sitting at uh, 78.85. So got a lot of big time resistance sitting right here. And so far this is kind of looking, it's just very, very choppy. Look at, see, you got all the sticks the sticks there, that's looking very choppy. It's not a nice flow here. But again, the week has just started here, so we got to see how this is all going to shake out. Okay, let's take a look here at natural gas. Okay, here we have natural gas, your daily and your weekly chart here. Okay, we'll just start off here with this weekly chart. Now, you can see where the 8 SMA here, see how we just spiked right on up, went out into the 8 SMA up to the, to the 21 day for the week, but then fell right back. The same way what happened was last week, went right up in the 8 day into the 21 day and then fell down. And so far, we're right below uh, all of that, both of it. So this is not looking really uh, that great. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out. Now, when you look at your MACD here, uh, your green below the red, that is not, that's not anywhere any kind of a bullish scenario here at all. And your RSI here is looking on down here. So this is actually a very, very bearish looking chart here on the old natural gas. Now, that being said here, we I think there might be a possible, possible opportunity here, okay? So look at what we had here, okay? So your low was uh, one point, uh, 882. Now today we put in a low here of 1.875, just like on crude. And then remember how it rallied right on up. Now you can see here where it went down and now it closed back up at 1.90 here. Okay. So now we have that same, we have a double bottom situation. Okay. So just watch that. Okay. Now I had a short on KOLD. That's all off. I'm flat. I have no position at all in natural gas, long or short, but I'm going to wait and see here. Uh, again, what happens, we're going to be trading against the high of 1.97 and that low of 1.875, okay? So now, if we crack and lose that 1.88, this 1.875, today's low, then we can just start following these candles here all the way down. Looking at 1.85, we have uh, 1.80, we have 1.78, 1.72, and then your big retest here in your gap fill at 1.67, okay? So that's where we're gonna go here if we start losing this 1.8 at uh, level here on your price channel there, okay? So that's where you're gonna be going if, okay, you lose that on a closing basis. All you need to know here for your support levels are sitting right here, okay? Now, if this holds like crew did, this could have a nice good rally right on up here because look how many days, one, two, three, four, five, six days of just sell right off, okay? So again, you're holding this, so this again, I want you to just watch this for a possible, possible double bottom play like we had on crude. And look at that nice three day rally we had that took crude rare of uh, higher there and made a huge profit. At least I made a good, huge profit on that. That was a really good profit there for, for a three day deal. Okay, so now what we're looking for here on the upside, well, we'll just take the candles here, okay? So you're looking 1.94, and then we're looking here at uh, 1.97, and then we have your uh, uh, two level, okay, uh, going on there, and then basically we have a 207, and then we have your 209, which is, this is gonna be key level right here, it's gonna be your eight day and your 21 day. That is gonna be very, very critical there on the upside. So maybe you, if we have a bot, double bottom situation, this could rally up right into that uh, scenario, we got to see how that all going to shake out here now, okay? So your RSI here, you're getting to that uh, kind of, you know, like your oversold conditions. You're not there yet, but we'll have to see, you know what I mean? But again, now we have the same kind of a scenario, okay? So you, you take this right here. We have this low. Now, if we can bounce that, we might have a possible positive divergence to take this higher. So just watch possible double bottom play here. Now, again, if, big if here, you lose that today's low, that 1.87 level 
Okay, you lose that 1.87, well, that negates that double bottom pattern, and then we're going to follow these candles all the way on down. Okay, so you have to hold this level here to get that double bottom play to take it up long. So I'm going to be watching, and when those futures open here, the high, the low, and that closing number, very, very key here. So don't have no opinion, just trade this chart here, because this could be a lot of good money here, back up on the upside, because we have that trading range. See that trading range? 2.30. 1.88, we can just bounce right back up again. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'll be back here tomorrow morning here before 8 o'clock. We will do it all over again. And remember, trade what's in front of you, not what you want.